This is the Marketplace Emerson Report. I'm Jules Wall. The Penny Arcade Exposition has several iterations across the country. For Boston, PAX East has been here for four years, showcasing the latest in video gaming from developers and gathering over 70,000 attendees into one place. Alex Beers was one of them. He had to go to lengths just to get a simple PAX t-shirt. That line was literally half a mile long. You, you know, you start at the store, you have to wrap around like half the building. So I, I waited in line about two hours just to get two shirts. Demand does not begin to describe how fast entry passes into the convention sold out online some seven months in advance. A three-day pass costed $75 for attending the whole weekend, the first one in April. They sold out in approximately 10 minutes. PAX goers also had the option of buying individual day passes for $40 a day. Beers bought three of those for each day after the weekend passes sold out. It's worth it. It's a once-a-year thing. You know, 120 bucks isn't too much to ditch out for, you know, such an event. Something else to consider, Alex drove in from Weymouth. Unlike many others who flew in from across country or around the world. So we run the gamut, basically, in terms of uh, disposable cash. Uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, I mean, people are coming there. They're ready to not only pay to get into PAX, but there's all sorts of, you know, vendors there and that are uh, not only selling, really, their games, but also selling, you know, merchandise and other uh, stuff as well. Get a Twitch bag and a shirt and a pin. Timothy Lowe directs the Massachusetts Digital Gaming Institute in Worcester. MassDigi fosters high school and college level students into software developers for the evolving gaming industry. He's been to every PAX East and has seen some of his protege stand booths at PAX. While big time publishing companies like Ubisoft and Square Enix, as well as panel discussions and tournaments, take most of the cake on the convention floor, Upstart developers can pay up to $5,000 for a 100 square foot boot. But with attention focused on mobile gaming and its extendable profit scale. Actually, you know, a small booth of PAX is relatively affordable, and I think they've done a really good job of keeping it affordable so that small developers can, can get involved. There will be an iteration of PAX next year in San Antonio, and there's already pent up demand for tickets to PAX East 2015. In Boston, I'm Jules Wong for Marketplace.